This is an NBC News special report. Here's Peter Alexander. Good morning. This is an NBC News special report. NBC News has learned that disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Epstein took his own life while he was behind bars here in New York City facing charges of sex trafficking. We want to get the very latest now from NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter, who is joining us by phone. Tom, what more do you know? Uh, Peter, what we know is that at some point this morning, uh, Bureau of Prisons and prison officials uh, found Jeffrey Epstein in his cell. Uh, apparently, he had uh, hanged himself, uh, and they called the EMS, the Fire Department of New York EMS. Uh, he was in cardiac arrest at that time. He was transported to New York's downtown hospital, uh, and then he was pronounced dead. Um, it's a stunning turn. Obviously, several weeks ago, NBC News and several other outlets reported uh, that Epstein uh, may have made a, some sort of an attempt on his life, although uh, officials at the time and, and later upon investigating it uh, were wondering if it was more of an effort to get attention or perhaps to get uh, better conditions for himself. Obviously, that has radically changed with this news. Uh, it comes following a day where more documents were unsealed in a civil proceeding in New York, uh, painting an even clearer picture of what some of his victims uh, allege and what they said. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, on top of that, Peter, it's uh, uh, it's just an incredible turn. This is somebody who uh, kind of had, had gotten off easy from a judicial standpoint. Uh, many people believe uh, back in the mid 2000s when he was able to escape federal charges and faced only a single count in a state case uh, tied to sexual abuse. He was uh, indicted by a federal grand jury. He was arrested in July uh, and faced charges by federal prosecutors here in New York who were keen to move forward with a case that featured a number of New York victims uh, and more allegations from back in that time period, 2002 to 2005. Uh, and now they're not going to be able to go forward with that case. And uh, this morning, it, uh, Jeffrey Epstein is dead. And Tom, to, to be clear, it was just a matter of weeks ago, as you noted, in what was either a suicide attempt or perhaps an effort, as law enforcement officials told us at the time, to try to fake an attack on him, that Epstein was put uh, in, under suicide watch that followed that incident where there were marks found on his neck. He was found injured in the fetal position on the ground in his cell. This is going to raise a lot of new questions, specifically how something like this could happen while Epstein was in federal custody. Well, you're absolutely right, Peter, and, and what you described uh, was exactly as, as we knew it at the time. Um, it's going to raise significant questions, and it's part of the reporting and some of the information that we're going to try to gather here this morning. Uh, we're hoping to get a, a press release from the Bureau of Prisons, which oversees uh, federal, uh, federal prisoners and federal inmates. So we're trying to get some more details about that. But, yes, in light of that incident uh, and in light of everything going on and the fact that he is a very high-profile defendant, uh, you know, he is somebody who – uh, had uh, had friends, uh, two former, well, one current president and a former president at one point he had been friends with. Uh, he's somebody who allegations were were made more clear yesterday uh, that some of his victims say that uh, they were told to have sex with uh, two former uh, two former politicians, one a sitting U.S. senator and, and one a former governor. So for somebody who's this high profile facing the type of charges that he was facing and yeah. given that incident that you described, um, serious questions are going to be asked as to how we came to the point where he was able to uh, to die by suicide here. Tom Winter, again, thank you very much. Once again, NBC News has now learned that disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life while he was in jail here in the in Manhattan, in New York City. Some of you will go back to today. Others will return to your local programming. I'm Peter Alexander. This has been an NBC News special report.